Well, I'm in the old England team room uh, by the pool table and joined by a, uh, not that old actually, Nick Easter. How old are you now? 28. 20? Oh, come on. Plus me 18. <laughs> he was on a paper round on the Gaza Strip. At, at, at 17.5%, not 20. <laughs> Last time I saw you actually, and we had a long chat, was when I beat you on a, on a bus in the uh, World Cup in an arm wrestle. Remember that? Mm, I remember it being the result being reversed. Oh, though. you were celebrating well, too much. Again now, if you want. I've got a bad shoulder. Oh, right. um, looking forward to the weekend, obviously. Um, this, if Lewis Moody goes off, he's had the injury, he's got 10 stitches, he can't see. There might be a chance that, <laughs> you know, you, yeah, he might run into a wall or something in the changing room before the game and get injured. Who takes over the captaincy? You must be a contender. You'd love to do it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd love to do it. Yeah, I would. And you know, a couple of times I think he has gone off. I've sort of taken over only for about the last 10 minutes. But, uh, uh, so, you know, you've got Mike Tyndall there as well, who captains his club at Gloucester. And, you know, I think just get on with doing what you were doing before and all, all the difference it makes is who can talk to the referee now yeah. because they don't like talking to anyone. Is there more leaders in this England squad now? There's been chat for uh, maybe the last 18 months that leaders need to emerge. Are they finally coming through and what we're seeing yourself, Tins, maybe Floody, uh, Kuwaits, who, who else is out there that you know, can yeah, take charge? Well, th those guys you named them, um, Tomo, you know, he takes yeah. charge in the front row. Um, Tom Palmer's now, you know, sort of bossing the line outs. So he's obviously got that part to his game. and yeah. you, can, you can have too many, but uh, you know, there's a good call there. And uh, looking forward to the game, is, is there a special feel around the squad? Does it feel different after the win against Australia? Yeah, it, uh, yeah, it does. You know, there's confidence in where we're going, you know, how the sort of rugby we're playing and where we're going as a side and sort of all the work we've put in you know, since Johnny took over for two years. You know, we can see we're moving in the right direction, but these autumn series, you know, this autumn series is, is crucial to prove that we are really. Yeah. So what, what's what's the general chat then? Is it just that that we've had good preparation? There's no injuries. There's no excuses really this year. This is the squad that really could go all the way to the World Cup. It's time to deliver, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's the last time we'll play the sort of three Southern Hemisphere super superpowers with no tour next year before we get to the World Cup. So yeah, there's massive opportunity. If you're playing top trumps, though, we beat Australia, Australia beat New Zealand, therefore aren't we beating New Zealand if you're playing top trumps? Yeah, but New Zealand also beat Australia three times in the tri nation That doesn't uh, count, it only goes to your last game. Oh, does it? Okay. Well, oh, if you're playing top trumps, yeah, yeah but we're well, not, unfortunately. I'm going to play top trumps and I think we're going to win. Great Good luck, mate. Thanks very much and no football as well at the weekend, didn't you? Do one day actually get to Captain England. Is Lewis Moody still signing off his text as skips, is that true? <sighs> yeah, unfortunately. Oh.